my channel. Happy holidays. Today, I'm happy to be here. I hope you guys are prepared for the holidays. I wanna come on here and give you a quick holiday recipe. I know you guys are like, oh my God, I've had peach cobbler pancakes, peach cobbler this, apple this. If you don't like it, I'm gonna show you a different way to do it today. Okay, so today we're gonna be making deep fried peach cobbler. Get into it, let's go. So first we're gonna go ahead and brown this butt. The brown butter is gonna make it really good and sopped up, okay? You guys know I love to brown butter over here. It's amazing. When you brown the butter, it gets all those caramel bits and like all that richness comes from browning the butter and it just changes the whole flavor of the peach cobbler. So once the butter start looking like this, nice and foamy, turn your heat down just a little bit because you don't want to have the juices splatter all over you, okay? That's not what we want. And I know you're like, how are we gonna fry this thing? I'm gonna show you. The crust is gonna be fried. Stick with me, I'm gonna bless you. So we're gonna brown this butter first, and then we're gonna add the peaches. Now we're just going to swirl this around. Swirl it on around, swirl it on around. Hallelujah. I'm excited because I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be what? You see it out there. Huh, sopped up. You already know it. And we're just gonna let this cook, y'all, for about 10 minutes until the peaches kind of turn color. Just a little bit, it won't be that bright yellowy color. It'll be a little bit more like orangey, I guess. <laughs> now we wanna add in our brown sugar. As you know, all the recipe ingredients will be down in the description box. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of white sugar, okay? And I know you like, dang, did she have it in heavy syrup? I still need some sugar up in there. You still need some, it's gonna make it good. Put that up in there, let the spirit lead on that. And then we're gonna just take the spoon and we're gonna swirl this around. And as you can see, because we browned the butter and we get, let it get nice and foamy, it's thickening up nicely. Look at there, look at that. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon too, okay? Maybe about a half a tablespoon. Not too much, okay? <laughs> Maybe you ain't making no cinnamon rolls and stuff or cinnamon pie. Now for those of you out there who don't like peaches, you can do this with apples, okay? I know what you're thinking. What if I don't like them peaches? It's always peach cobbler this and peach cobbler that. You can do it with apples, it's okay. And then what I like to do is add a little bit of salt. Got your little salt, you need a little salt up in there to season it. It's gonna balance out all that flavor, okay? When you're making something sweet, you always wanna put a little salt up in there to balance it out. And look at that right there. The topping is done. All we did was let it cook. Let me taste that, see that's good. <laughs> Baby, that's soft dude. Okay? All right, so listen, we've made our peach filling. It's over there sitting to the side. Just don't be no side chick. <laughs> okay? Listen, so you guys like what? What's gonna be the crust? Baby, we gonna use these canned biscuits. Now let me tell y'all something. If y'all ain't never had a fried biscuit, baby, you ain't ever lived your life. Period. My mama used to fry biscuits growing up and then put a little powdered sugar on there and they be so doggone good and sopped up. It's like a crispy donut almost, right? But better, because you get that buttery taste. So I've got some Pillsbury biscuits. Mm -hmm, just gave y'all a shout out, cutting my chick. But I got some Pillsbury biscuits here, okay? You want to use these, okay? Don't get the flaky ones. Get the regular kind, all right? And then we just want to take them apart. Baby, it's going to take me back to my hood days, because it might pop on me. Hold on, let's see. Woo! It didn't do it. You know why I didn't do it? Because I just pulled these out of the refrigerator. So if you pull these out of the refrigerator and they pop open, most of the time it's because you didn't let them sit out a little bit too long, okay? And then kind of slightly came to room temperature. But if it come like this, all you want to do is give a little hit. Boom! Pop, pop! Now we're gonna fry these up. Like I said, they are good on its own. Parents, I know you're quarantining with your children. If you need a little something sweet to put on your stomach for the kids, my daughter loves, love, 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 love these. They're so, so doggone good, okay? So this is what I like to do though. I like to take them out like this right here and I like to pull them apart. You see they have layers to them, just like that, all right? And what I like to do is kind of flatten them. This is gonna be our crust because we're gonna layer this thing. Okay, and you see those pockets of butter? That's what's gonna make it good. So now we're gonna fry these biscuits, y'all. So I fill my cast iron here with oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, okay? So I've got it preheated here, and I put it over medium heat, not high, okay? We don't need that. If you're using a deep fryer, about 325 is good, okay? So if you wanna deep fry them, it's totally up to you, but I wanna just put them right here. We're gonna do what we call shallow frying. Or maybe this is deep frying. <laughs> it's what I say it is. It's frying, period. So 
So I've got the biscuits, and then we're just gonna lay them in here like this. And we're gonna put this in here like that. Look at there. So easy. So I'm gonna use about four at a time. You overcrowd the pan, then it's gonna bring the oil temperature down, and then you won't get a nice crispy biscuit. It's gonna be full of oil. Now I know that's good if you anoint it, huh? But because I'm oily. I know I got the, uh, the oil on me. But they don't want it in that biscuit. We don't need that. They ain't gonna be good and soft good. And it ain't gonna take them that long, okay? We're just gonna cook them for about one to two minutes per side. Flip them over, cook it again for about one to two minutes and take them out. Okay, so it's time to plate it up, y'all. Look at what we did. It's so easy. It didn't even take us no time. This literally takes about 10 minutes to make, for real, okay? Longer than some of y'all <clears throat> quarantine life out there. I know what y'all been out there doing. We're gonna take a little bit of juice and put that down just so we can have like, it's almost like you're gonna be layering like a lasagna almost, okay? I just wanna have a little juice at the bottom so it won't be dry. Okay, <laughs> so a wop peach cobbler. <laughs> Woo! Oh God, he's still working on me. Then we're gonna put our biscuit down. Like that right there. Look at that. Then we're gonna take this peach cobbler filling that we got and we're gonna pour that on there like that. Child, that's gonna be good and soft too. Boom. Okay. Then we're gonna take some more peaches. Put the juice on there, because don't nobody wanna dry, child. <laughs> They're gonna run up at your house, child. We need time. And you just wanna top it with that ice cream. Then, this is powdered sugar. You know, we in LA, we gotta make sure it is what it is. Praise God, it ain't nothing else. Gonna dust with a little bit of powdered sugar on there like that. Then because my mama said I need something green every day as a vegetable, we're gonna put some sprigs of mint on there to make it look pretty like you done did some. You ain't did nothing, child. But look at that. Look at that, y'all. That looks so good. Boom. Y'all, y'all gonna like this. Mm. Tell me something good. Uh -huh. Baby, a blind man can make it. Not can say it because my daddy blind, okay? And he can make this. It's so good. I want you guys to make it for the holiday, make it for any day, make it for you, make it for babe, make it for your aunties and them. Try the recipe, it's really, really delicious, y'all. And it's so easy. As you know, all the ingredients will be in the description box below. So just click that little link. All the ingredients with the measurements will be down there. You know I got you. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday. Be safe, be well, and just know that I'm praying for all of y'all out there, okay? And stay at home as much as you can, because Rona is real out here. Bye, y'all. See you later.